So I start out by measuring my board to make sure that it is eight foot. And then I'll go in the middle and do four foot for each side. So I grab my spindles and I put them all in a line. Make sure that they're even on the end. And then I cut them on the one side and then I'll go in and cut them on the other side to get like some of the knot, like some of them have the ends that are inserted into the wood on the other end and I cut them off. And then I'll line them up again and then make sure that they're all even. And sometimes you got to go back and cut just a tad bit more off. I don't like doing the little spindles on the saw. It kind of scares me a little bit because it's hard to handle on there. So I usually use my jigsaw for those if you want to use like the smaller spindles from like beds and stuff. So here I'm marking every foot in the center of the board on both sides of each board just so I know where to nail. So when stapling, or using my nail gun, I mean, I make sure that the one underneath is centered, and then I use two nails to nail it in. And I do this on both sides. And there may be an easier way. I got this idea this for Julie's Designs and Signs. I just wanted to show you a quick DIY. So here I'm using crackle that I medium that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I've mentioned it in my other videos too. I do one big thick coat on this because I want the wood to crackle through. And then on the other one, which is the one I'm painting red, I am doing one full coat of the red. And I'm letting the other one with the crackle dry right now. I love this red. Um, you can make this like a primitive look if you wanted to. Or I'm using it for Christmas because I'm planning on putting it over my mantle. And I'm hoping I'm either going to do a fall tour. I may do both. And a Christmas tour of my home. You can notice little May May over there in the corner. She's such a good puppy. My pride and joy. These days to call you by your real name, real name, and give you real love. So next, I add the crackle to this. Um, I won't. I didn't do it all over this one. I just wanted it to do it in certain places because then I can go back and sand some other spots. So I do a coat of Waverly on here and I do two thick coats of it because I want the crackle to like really pop. We just need to take our time. These days, these days, I find it hard to these days, these days, to call you by your real name, real name, and give you real love. So it kind of turned out a little pink on that first coat. Um, DIY paint is very pigmented, so you probably need to seal it, which is what I should have done, and then did the crackle. <laughs> so learn from my mistake. Always seal the undercoat um, if you don't want it, especially if you're using white as a top coat. Uh, I don't normally do that, but here it kind of smeared on because I couldn't wait for it to dry. I was kind of impatient trying to get this video out to you guys. And then my goofy tail is sitting here waving my heat gun everywhere. Instead of hitting the board, I'm hitting everywhere in the air. So, 
I'm he doing this so the crack I can get the crackle effect on it. And I ended up kind of uh, burning an area, one little area on there, but the red ended up popping through. I just sanded it off and you couldn't really tell. So here I'm taking a 220 grit sandpaper and I'm sanding some spots. Um, this is some rough pine. So I should have sanded it before I did it. But this is just something I did really quick. And I'm keeping these for me so I didn't like perfect them. But I really, really love how they turned out. So I ended up doing a wax, clear wax on both sets. And then I'll do a dark wax to kind of age them a little bit. And you can wipe off the excess that's left. And I kind of buffed it in. So on this one, I ended up doing just a color of crinoline. I didn't do the white. I did crinoline on this one. Which is kind of an off-white. It's kind of got a yellow tint to it. Um, but I absolutely love this color. And this one you can use just about all year round. And the crackle effect on it turned out perfect. Especially on the spindles. Which is where I really wanted it to come through. And I do about two full coats on this. And then I'll eventually I'll seal it with the white wax. And then I do a dark wax on top. Which you'll see here in the video. We just need to take our time We just need to take our time We just need to take our time So here I'm trying to get the crackle effect on the spindles Because I used a whole lot on this and I let it set You're supposed to let it set for about an hour which is what the bottle says But I usually, about 30-45 minutes it's dry and then you can go on with your paint on top of it. And I've been using that a lot here lately. I had planned on using milk paint for both of these, but I had ended up running out of white. And so I just ended up using my crackle medium. We just need to take our time. We just need to take our time. Which, if you like these kind of DIYs, please like and subscribe and comment and tell me if you'd like to see more. And I have the finished products at the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. We just need to take our time. We just need to take our time.